All right. Let's get into it. This is definitely not the third time I've tried this. So, this is the uh, Knox 30-inch microphone desk boom arm. I uh, decided to go with this for my uh, microphone. I'm going to be buying a USB uh, Samsung Q2U. Um, and I just wanted to make it as simple as possible. I went with this guy because uh, it's in the middle of the road between a newer and a road. A newer is generally about 13 to 15 bucks and a road's around a hundred dollars. So this one's right down right in the middle. It's at uh, 47 not 47 to 49.99. Uh, and the reason I went with this, even though it does seem a bit pricey, is it's aesthetically pleasing. I love the lines. There's no springs, uh, and it's, uh, I can't lie, I've already opened this guy up, I just haven't seen any unboxings of these guys, so I decided to repackage it and just show you guys what you'll be expecting if you get something like this. So what we got in the package is the, the mic, I'm sorry, the boom arm. Uh, it's got a one year warranty. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, rotates 360 degrees. Uh, 30 inch horizontal and vertical uh, I'm sorry yeah 30 inch reach horizontal and vertical 5 8 copper thread adapter and holds up to five pounds and we're actually going to test that because I I don't have my microphone but I do have the five pounds so you'll see that in a little bit so let's just, just bust this bad boy open and see what we got like I said it's definitely uh not take three or anything. I hear that happens in the uh, YouTube world. You just see the edited versions of everything that happens. Hey! So, pretty, uh, you know, nothing fancy as far as the box. A little foam to hold it in place. And we got the arm itself. So let's take that off of there. Put that aside. Actually, let me stand this up. Hey, I think we're cooking now. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So you get the mic, mic arm. That looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see this little sticker if I can get that in there. Probably won't be able to see it. Probably wouldn't, won't be able to focus on that. But it says made in China, which is hey, what's not made in China anyway nowadays. Uh, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty slick, I think. Uh, it's got that road kind of like, you know, circles instead of hinges sort of thing or whatever levers. Uh, let's see, it's got this elastic band. I guess so there's a spring open, but I really don't think this is that spring loaded. It's more, I think it's got more tension than anything else. So, pop that window open a little bit more. Oh, like I'm losing light. All right. Think a bit better. Okay. So we got that. Got the stand. So now we need the mount. And there it is. I've already been busted open three or four times. That's just me fouling up the first uh, rendition of this video. But anyways, so there you go. There's your mount. So it's got nice little ball ends to the uh, lever, so you don't have to worry about that sliding out of there. Uh, I think this has like a soft, maybe a piece of or something like sitting on the actual bottom of this it's kind of hard to get the light in there but this right here it's got a soft feel to it so I think they have that there so that it doesn't 
damage whatever thing whatever you're mounting it to so there you go but now let's go to mountain mounting we're not going to a mountain I'll change the angle too. So you get a nice side view of what's happening here. Clamp that down nice and tight. Take my arm. Put that down over there. Give that a few turns. Not, nothing too tight, you want to be able to swivel it around. And then we'll change the angle up. Alright. So. Let's. Okay, so there we go, hold this out, try to tighten it up a little more, okay, so now for the test, so it says it's supposed to be a five pound weight limit on here, so put some these are my five pound weights. Tripping dumbbells, you know. So, one and two. It seems to be drifting on it. It's just a tad. <clears throat> I feel like if you had it lifted up a little higher, like it's like just the first instance of weight is when it drifts a little bit. Does it look a little dark to you or is it okay? It's okay. Yeah? Okay. Just sure. getting a consult from my assistant here. Alright, so that's five pounds on there. So uh, the only reason I'm testing it this way is because say you wanted to mount something heavy on here like a, like a not to say a blue yeti's five pounds but you know, basically something that's heavy and you want something like robust so that you don't have to worry about it breaking or, you know, falling apart and possibly damaging something that's cost you, you know, upwards of, you know, several hundred dollars. <clears throat> I mean, my personal preference of microphone isn't going to cost that much, but who knows if that's something that you want to have down the road. Uh, and instead of going with a road or anywhere, this is like just down, like right down the middle. Uh, let me see something real fast. I feel like it's a little dark. Eh, that's a little better. Anyways, hopefully I can crop that up. Anyways, this is a nice, stiff mic arm. It's going to be able to hold whatever you're whatever you want to put on here with no problem. So like I said, this is five pounds here. So, and you know, this isn't the most professional setup here. I'm just, I'm just a guy in the living room, you know, testing out a microphone, or I'm sorry, a boom arm that I haven't seen any uh, information for online as far as, you know, if it's legitimate. And it looks pretty legit to me. You know, like this isn't, I don't see it moving. I'm pretty sure you can see that at home yourself. And it's not budging here, so pop these out of here and then hopefully that's the heaviest thing that'll ever be on here. But anywho, this thing rotates up and down. So if you want to have something like your microphone, you prefer your microphone to be hanging, you know, a pine hanging in front of you, or maybe angle it, you know, straight across so that your cables can run down and through and just have like a nice smooth uh you know look in front of you 
try to turn it to the side and angle the uh, the microphone in different directions that way as well. So, yeah, I think it's nice. It's a keeper to me. $49.99, I think it's worth it. Personally, for me, I'm definitely not spending $100 on one. I'm no, uh, you know, professional uh, podcaster or anything, at least not yet. So, uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. Maybe you'll make a decision. I'll have a link uh, in the description if you want to get purchase one of these guys. Uh, maybe, I think Amazon will probably be the one. Because that's where I got mine through. And that was super fast shipping. So, uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. And I'll see you next time.